Hi, I'm Sean Smith from South Coast Yachts. Today I'm at the Annapolis Boat Show where we have on display the brand new First Yacht 53, a boat that I'm very excited about, a boat that I feel that Beneteau made specifically for me. <laughs> a very high performance, very luxurious cruising boat. Join me as we take a walk through and tour the boat. Starting on the starboard side here, this boat is a beautiful blue gel coat hull. Looks amazing with the teak decks, teak coach roof. I'm blown away by the lines of this boat, the design, shape of the hull. Very racy. It's gonna be a very fast boat. We'll take a look at the quick specs here. So with the bowsprit, you're 56 feet, four inches, beam of 16.5, and look at how the beam is carried all the way aft. You can see how straight that rail appears. Draft of 910, there will be a shallower keel available. 110 horsepower shaft drive motor is what's in this boat here. And Viscontini Yacht Design is the naval architect responsible for this design as well as um, 20 years in America's Cup design. The outside and interior design, Lorenzo Argento, who also has designed some um, Wally yachts and some other very uh, luxurious yachts. So you can see the styling from those designers. With just an amazing design on the first Yacht 53. Love how wide the transom is and this deck layout. A great boat to entertain and cruise comfortably but also do some racing which I just uh, think is a brilliant concept, amazing boat. And also, there, it's a nominee for three Best Boat of the Year awards. These Best Boat banners are covering up the dinghy garage. So we have a transom that folds down with a stainless ladder that's going to recess right into that compartment. And an inboard of that ladder is a compartment for a dinghy to go straight in. The pulpits are all stainless and they have Dyneema lifelines running the length of the boat. The black and Dyneema, I love. And you're gonna see all throughout this boat as standard, much higher end and um, higher tech hardware. And um, for example, these Harkin Performa winches and the Harkin Black Magic blocks and hardware throughout the boat, all as standard. Coming back to the transom, I'm really impressed with this all one level. If you're racing, you can have crew gathered in these corners comfortably with a very high pulpit, but it's also a really good space to enjoy cruising. Checking out the backstay quickly, you can see this um, Dyneema here with a hydraulic backstay. There's also a hydraulic boom vang. That can be controlled here on the starboard side, just forward to the starboard helm. These seats aft are perfect for race boat, also comfortably cruising. If you're anchored and swimming off the boat, this is a great place to hang out. But also, when you're driving the boat, ideal place for visibility all the way around. Port helm, we have a 12 inch BNG chart plotter, multifunction display your autopilot control, and then look at this custom for this boat, all of the lights and lifting the platform up and down. Starboard side is where your throttle control is located as well as the Yanmar diesel display. Also the Genoa in and out as well as our quick uh, chain counter for the electric windlass, bow thruster control, and another 12 inch BNG multifunction display. You can do a stern thruster on this boat as an option. And the Genoa furler is recessed below the deck. We'll go take a look at that in a moment. Your main sheet control comes right down to the middle and it's at the very far aft end of the boom. I really like to see that. There are three boom options. You can have a standard racing boom. This is the V boom. And then you can also have a leisure furl in boom furling. The LED inside the bottom of the boom is a standard feature. And I really like this option of this canopy coming over the top. 
really easily fastened to the back plate and to your outboard shrouds, creates a really nice cover at the dock or at anchor on this boat. You can have a dodger. There's a actually a dodger in place for this boat to uh, do deliveries. Um, you can easily put it on and off. The boat looks amazing uh, with the lines of the cabin top how it is here. Cockpit tables are split, which is really, really nice. Good place to brace um, and comfortably move around the cockpit underway, but also really comfortable seating and a great place to dine as well. These teak tables are going to open up, create a bigger surface for dining. The rigging is all lead at. You have a couple of pockets here for excess line. At the helm, you can control both winches which on this boat are electric. The deck layout is really sleek. Comes all the way back, there's just one small step here. So this is great. If you're standing here, you have really high lifelines. Underneath, both on both sides, you have access to, on the starboard side, shore power, on this side, diesel fill, and also a water inlet, or uh, dock water raised gunnel with the uh, pulpits and stanchions all embedded. Looks beautiful. Styling of the cabin top. Genoa tracks are recessed into the cabin top, which is amazing. So this is well inboard with adjustable leads. And then your outboard shrouds. This boat has rod rigging. And here is our mast, which can be carbon or aluminum, three spreaders. We've got the Harkin track on this boat as well, split track, which is really nice. So your mainsail stack is going to come port starboard, making it um, not as tall. So basically, you can have half the stack height, making it easier to get to your main halyard. A look inside this boom. That hydraulic boom vane. CNG 2020 displays. And look at this hardware. Beautiful teak wood all around. Coming up, you see the recessed Genoa furler. Beautiful bowsprit with both a two to one halyard for a code zero or a symmetric spinnaker with an attachment point further forward. And you have an anchor into that sprit as well with the roller coming just to the starboard side for the electric windlass. Gas, uh, gas assist assisted door here and Lumar windlass underneath. See our chain up there. And you also have an outlet for a hose up here. Just aft of the anchor locker, there is a crew cabin. So you can see the single bunk, toilet, shower, sink, some storage in there. And these all have locks. So you have a lock in that crew cabin as well as on your the chain locker. Just aft we have a couple of deck fittings for water, fresh water and black water. Look at this beautiful cabin top. This boat has the Nomen folding cleats. as well as gates on both sides, easy boarding both sides of the boat or transom. Now let's go take a look at the interior. A really cool thing about this companionway is the way the door opens up. You have a lock and this drops down. So basically you don't have to store any companionway boards or have French doors in the way. What happens is you pull the top back and slide the door up and then you're locked into place. Gorgeous interior, I'll pan across. The 
design of the interior is amazing. The interior basically has evolved a little bit to where uh, how people are using their boats. On the starboard side, we have a nice sofa, which is really designed to be a, a piece of uh, furniture like you have at home. There's two types of foam. It's incredibly comfortable. And we have a coffee table uh, just in board, which looks amazing, but it's really user-friendly for how people are using their boats. Instead of having a large uh, table interrupting the space in here, we have a table to the port side. So right now it's set up for dining for four people, but you can slide the table out, make it larger, and then also there's an additional seat that slides out here. So if you want to dine with six, you can extend this table and make it a little bit larger. Just after that salon table, it's a beautiful galley. All of the hardware, the finishes, uh, all the handles in here, are a little different than what we've seen before. Very, very impressive. The white finish with the teak, I think, looks great. Inside here, we've got a freezer. These are also handholds all the way around, so this trim looks good, but it's also very user-friendly and helpful when you're underway. Now we've got the air conditioning on. You know, the boat with the generator, air conditioning. Just aft, you can also have a washer dryer, if you choose, as well as an oven up here. And this boat's storage. But great feature is this tall refrigeration. It's amazing. There's a large stainless sink. Waste bin, storage. And this whole piece here is pretty cool. This is going to come out together for storage, also for some silverware tray at the top. And let's take a look at our aft cabins. So there are two cabins aft. We, and with every inch of this boat has been really well utilized for storage and user friendliness. There's lots of storage space in here, but you could have a washer dryer if you chose. Turn the lights on in here. Really impressive lighting throughout the boat with the indirect lighting and LEDs. So these switches here, you can see that just really changes the ambiance of the boat. Starboard side aft, another cabin. Spacious, good storage, and this one has access into the head. With a separate shower. Now looking around the boat, you don't see an electrical panel anywhere, but it is recessed here. I'm really impressed with this. So our DC panel, our electronics which are on, the feel of this is really nice, easy to turn on and off, as well as the lights throughout the boat, really simple. And this boat has the Scheiber panel here, so I can monitor my electricity. Right now we're getting power to the house and the air conditioning from the dock, but you can also have it coming from the generator. So really easy to manage all of the ship systems air conditioning here. And this boat also has ship control as standard, which is a great new thing from Beneteau, helping to assist with those, all of those systems on board. You can even use a tablet to control lighting and throughout the boat, so no matter where you are, you can uh, control the boat. Compression post for the mast. And then we'll go into the forward master stateroom with this large island bed, beautifully decorated. Again, I'm a big fan of all the, the lighting in here. Great storage as well. Close this door, which you can see here is, um, there's a magnet, so you don't have a latch sticking out to catch yourself on. I close the door, a uh, magnet, 
attaches and latches into place. This is some beautiful storage here. So, a couple of drawers, a mirror, shelves rather, and drawers below, which are all soft clothes. And then inside here, we have the head, which is separate from the shower on the port side. Very large and spacious shower compartment. And then again, you're not going to catch yourself on latches for those doors. Very nice hanging locker. And then this is for a TV you can have. And then also, quick thing to point out for the electrical, you have your light switches here, also an AC plug, and then USB ports. So on either side, your charging devices, it's right there. Last thing I'd like to point out, underneath the companionway, which is well lit, Struts lift up to give us access to the 110 horsepower Yanmar turbo diesel. Easy engine room access. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of the first Yacht 53. Beautiful new boat from Beneteau. Feel free to reach out to me anytime for more information about this boat. I look forward to talking to you really soon.